My Lords, in answering the question of the Noble Lord, Lord Turnberg, the Noble Lord, the Minister, uh, said that a test is available to anyone who wants one and that the, this is being advertised uh, on the M4. Um, I am looking right now at the NHS.UK website a page headed, Ask for a Test to Check if You Have Coronavirus. And highlighted on that, it says, please help the NHS by only asking for tests for people who have coronavirus symptoms now. Can the Noble Lord, the Minister, explain that? And also on that page, it lists the three symptoms um, which it says suggest you should have a test. Um, yet when I go to the Centre for Disease Control website, that lists the, the US uh, body, that lists 11 lots of symptoms, including fatigue, muscle ache, headache, sore throat, congestion, nausea or vomiting and diarrhoea. Has the government considered expanding the um, list of symptoms? Uh, and if it hasn't, it. Uh, if it hasn't, why not? Baronet, Minister. Yes, if I wasn't clear, then, then I hope the Noble Baroness will, will forgive me. But the test is open to anyone in the population. It isn't restricted to key workers or to those who are over five, as it once was. Mm -hmm. However, the clinical advice is that you should only seek a test if you show symptoms, partly because uh, the test won't necessarily work if you don't have symptoms. So that, that remains the case. In terms of expanding the symptoms, we did change the symptoms, um, I think about two weeks ago. Uh, we've done a huge amount of work to understand uh, the best way of um, recommending symptoms. This is a amazingly complicated area. To a lay person like me, it, you, uh, you would think that it wasn't that difficult to define symptoms for uh, an important disease, but actually um, uh, it is an extremely contested area. We have broadened it. We keep it under review. And if what we've done uh, isn't working well enough, then we will update it again.